welcome you to the coil shop uh, for our traction motor area in this uh, it, this is the very initial stage of starting the uh, manufacturing of the traction motor here we have the coil shop and behind me you can see the women power which are working uh, in the development of uh, our organization and as well as for our country so well kudos to the women uh, who are working with us so in the coil shop we start uh, with the scratch material which is just a copper wire and we go on uh, making the uh, stator part of this we are fixing it the brazing capacity uh, uh, is also done in this uh, coil shop also we can see on the right side please okay come let's go area we are actually uh, the coil which we have uh, made here will be fitted in this kind of setup and then they will be intertwined with help of the uh, threads and the special kind of material and the, after this they will be uh, raising will be done at this end okay. after uh, raising this item is moving out of coil shop and in the outside you can see the vpi area there after fitting up the resin we are keeping it, it in vpi for a longer duration and other process are also done uh, this is the assembly area of our propulsion bay for the traction motor in the right side you can see the heavy machinery which is in helping us to capture the moisture and do other activities like setting up the resins after that it is going to for the testing area on the left you can see there is a testing area and on the extreme left you can see there is a balancing uh, being there after all this activity has been completed the final product is then uh, being tested and painted after uh, painting the final product is sent to quality for the quality check every motor here produced will undergo the testing and the quality check ensuring that whatever is going out of this place is 100% full proof and efficient working can be achieved out of that motor. When the bare carbody comes from a, a carbody shell, mm -hmm. we have to like furnish it from interior and exterior, uh, like fittings activities. Okay. So, in the sense, interior you will look after some internal panels, seats, lighting activities, and in the if I talk about exterior, we have some underframe equipments, roof, light, cab mass. So, these all basically actually uh, give functional to a car bare carbody okay. and uh, give a comfortable uh, service for the coaches. So all these like outfitting activities, we define it as a very precise activity, which which has aesthetical aesthetical looks also in the sense of uh, metro coaches. Mm -hmm. We define this is station A01, okay. where we perform all our insulation activities, mm -hmm. which like uh, protects from vibration and sound depending activities of the coaches. Heavy excited, I mean, boss, heavy excited. Hey, hey video ta jono ta ekta like banta hai and jara jara subscribe kore ni, jara jara dekhen video ta shudh dekhi chole jan, dekhi hobe na boss, subscribe kore jan. So Enter Kursi Metro Vetre. We have insulation activities getting performed over. This, what you can see, is an insulated insulation mm -hmm. covered with an aluminium tape. The whole car is getting insulated over here. Mm -hmm. It acts as a sound barrier for the coach. And this is Bangalore Metro. Yeah, this is Bangalore Metro. Wow. And uh, the wiring works also happen here? Few of the installations we perform in this station, but mostly this particular station is for uh, insulation. Okay, activities. station number one. We actually define uh, activities based on the stations. So that manpower and all could be allocated on that way. How many stations do we have in this bay? We have actually 12 number of stations in mainline activities. 12 number? Yeah. So 12 different activities happen in this uh, 12 number stations. Not particularly 12, it actually differ also. Wonderful. We have around 110 number of installations for a particular coach in this 12 station only. So we can say that uh, entire metro is being manufactured here only? Yeah, from scratch. Wonderful, from scratch. Metro manufacturing hotse a amader hooglir uttor parate. So what you can see here is exactly the cab mass we call uh, for a for the front coach we are having in a metro coaches. So this basically provides the aesthetic looks of a coach. Uh, you see over there like how good it is looking, right? Yeah. So it has headlight uh, like 
indicator lamp also on the top mm -hmm. so this actually provides a good aesthetic looks to the coaches i've never been inside the bangalore metro but yeah. uh, here i have i've gone inside that okay in the manufacturing state yeah, yeah, yeah. the manufacturing state i'm from west bengal only oh, We, uh, yeah and uh, I feel also very proud. Like I am the part of this firm, ha na. This is my first organization, and uh, like uh, to serve for this uh, firm, which are having a vast number of diversification with the products. So finally, we have with us the deputy managing director of Titagar Group. Mr. Pritesh Choudhary, sir, welcome to the channel. Thank you. And uh, you have a lovely factory. Uh, I have just visited and shown my audience the, your factory, and they, I, I guess you also love it. So uh, tell me one thing uh, in the beginning that from a mag wagon manufacturer to metro manufacturer, and then after that you build ships as well. After that, uh, Vande Bharat. So how was the journey? So the journey has been long. It's been long, but the path has always been very clear. I mean. the vision or the dream to be a metro coach manufacturer and a vande bharat manufacturer actually started back in 2007 wow uh, that's when we got our first order for making emus for the indian railways and even at that time the vision was clear that we would like to be a metro manufacturer okay because the technology the quality everything that goes into a metro cannot be is not comparable really to the emus mm -hmm. so from then we've been slowly yet steadily working towards that goal and then with the acquisition of firema in 2015 with our italian mm -hmm. associate mm -hmm. we were finally able to get that technology to india okay. you know before then it was mostly foreign players that dominated the space mm -hmm. and there was no indian company that owned its own iprs that could say yes we are an indian company mm -hmm. and that yes we are manufacturing metros wow so that was the goal and uh, 2019 we finally got our first order for pune metro mm -hmm. and then the rest is history you are aware and that is uh, pune metro by the way i have shown you that it is the first aluminium bodied metro coaches uh, that they are manufacturing and uh, talking about the technology uh, i guess your plant is one of its kind because in in one under one roof uh, there is you can manufacture the aluminium bodied metro metro coaches as well as stainless steel absolutely so absolutely. tell us about the future vision of your company about what is the, what will be, will will be the capacity expansion of your plant uh, tell us about that So currently we operate at about twenty five cars, twenty four cars per month capacity. Uh, by twenty seven, twenty eight, this will actually be at seventy two cars per month. Wow! So there is a huge ramp up that is on the cards. You have uh, you have recently taken up uh, forty acres. Yes, <laughs> you are right. We have just recently acquired forty acres for this particular ramp up. Mm -hmm. Particularly, you know, for testing, for commissioning, for forming of the trains. Mm -hmm. That land is required. That area is required. Mm -hmm. So that's the part of the plan. From twenty four coaches to seventy two coaches is. Mm -hmm. a humongous effort but we are confident with okay so 24 coaches to 72 that will be only for metros that will be overall including so, vande bharat and, and metros okay. so 36 for metros 36 for vande bharat okay so what what is the employment presently you are generating from that plant from that plant or as a company as an organization as a whole we currently employ about 5000 people directly and indirectly in west bengal in west bengal wonderful my god and uh, people were not aware of this huge development in uttar para or rather they are very much confused that is uh, my metro being manufactured here or it is being manufactured in pune so that's why i wanted to make this video and show it to all that no the metros are being manufactured from the uttar para plant and the vande bharat have also been uh, started to uh, it is also started Absolutely. so uh, some unique features of the plant you have some climate cooling uh, something like that that is one of its kind in india tell tell us something about that so that's in for us we have four criteria that we follow whenever we take on a project which mm -hmm. is sqcd safety quality cost and then finally delivery okay so all of these processes these special processes that mm -hmm. you see are purely focused on improving the quality of the coaches okay. so when we do the special processes like bonding of the windows of the floor mm -hmm. insulation we if it's in if it's done in a temperature and a humidity controlled environment mm -hmm. then the longevity of that and the quality of that is far superior mm -hmm. so for us the primary focus is always safety and quality okay and what you see in the plant is just a representation of that mm -hmm. so uh, bangalore is done pune is done no bangalore is in process is in process but you are doing it yes um, you have recently uh, won the contract to do M M mumbai's metro as well that's right so uh, after that when when we can see titagar's metro in kolkata <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question i think 
over time we'll be, we'll find an answer to that <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wish that your metros come to our. It would be an honor for us. This is home. Yeah. And no greater honor than. Yeah, I can see home. the love that Kali uh, Kali Mai <laughs> Murti yeah. in your cabin behind you, and uh, the Kolkata tram and uh, ambassador. And talking about the ambassador, that was the ambassador's land. Absolutely. Uh, so I've seen. I've just seen the, uh, in your plant also that the crane that you are using, it's also from that uh, plant. So it's written that Hindustan Motors plant. So you have preserved that and you are reusing that. So that's amazing. Uh, you are not only creating re-employment from that land because that was a huge employment that Hindustan Motors was used to generate. So uh, tell us something about the future vision of Titagar Group as a whole, uh, like shipbuilding. You are also doing the shipbuilding business as well. So there are multiple parts to this. Mm -hmm. uh, just very recently, we had a board meeting where we also announced that Titaga Rail will be focusing purely on the rail business, okay. on the freight and the passenger side of the business. Mm -hmm. Where the vision is clear, on the rail side, we already are the largest manufacturer of mm -hmm. freight wagons in the country and we will continue to remain so. Mm -hmm. On the passenger side, uh, uh, we would also like to establish ourselves as the leader in the passenger field in India. Okay. And not just make in India for India, but really make in India for the world mm. going down the line. Mm. Coming to the shipbuilding side of it, we've decided to uh, treat that business and grow that business of its own accord in a separate entity, okay. uh, in a wholly owned subsidiary at the moment, mm -hmm. called Titagar Naval Systems Private Limited. Okay. And uh, we've just acquired more land in Falta, mm -hmm. where we'll be constructing a brand new shipyard, state-of-the-art shipyard, Wonderful. which can cater to vessels up to 120 meters in length, actually. Oh, wow. 120, 130. And presently, how much you are doing? Uh, how much Currently, the shipbuilding is on a much smaller scale because the yard is in a location where we cannot build larger vessels. Mm -hmm. It's in Titagar, which is north of both the of all yeah. three bridges, actually. Mm -hmm. So longer vessels, larger vessels, they cannot pass under the under bridges. The However, with Falta, that constraint is removed and okay. we'll be able to take on shipbuilding in a much more meaningful and much larger. So, land. how much area, how much land have you acquired? In so, we are in process currently. The acquisition is ongoing. Currently, we have about seven odd acres, eight odd acres, but mm -hmm. we are constantly acquiring more land there to build a, a large shipyard. Wow. After Metro, and you can see Titagar, a Kolkata based homegrown company, is also making the state proud building ships so uh, that's a that that can be a headline <laughs> and it's very kind of you <laughs> it's it's very kind of you to build a company like this from kolkata because uh, people have very bad perception about the city and uh, they're talking about the perception what how where do you see west bengal after 10 years from now as a, from the industrial industrialist perspective if you look at where West Bengal has come in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. the picture definitely seems to be very bright. I mean, Titagar is just one very small example of the overall story or the growth of Bengal, right? There are, I mean, in this very area around you, you see multiple offices of multiple companies that are all doing a great, great job in their respective fields. Mm -hmm. So the future seems to be very, very bright. Are you seeing any challenges uh, working in West Bengal? Challenges, apart from the weather, when it starts raining during the monsoons, mm -hmm. There are challenges everywhere, you see, yeah. whether it's in Bengal, whether it's in X, Y or Z. There are mm -hmm. challenges everywhere, but it's also about navigating those challenges. Mm -hmm. And the overall infrastructure of the state, the secretariat mm -hmm. is all very, very conducive to resolving those problems. You know, nobody actively tries to create, but wow. people do actively try to resolve problems. Mm -hmm. So as, the, as, a, as one of the top leading industrialists of West Bengal, what do you want to say our audience, people who are, who are willing to set up uh, industries in state? and people who are thinking of investing in the state, what do you want to say uh, to them? My only message is that stay in Bengal because as our Honorable Chief Minister says, Bengal does mean business. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of people, a lot of professionals especially, who are very highly educated, very skilled, very competent, mm -hmm. but because of whatever reason they decide to then move out of the state to mm -hmm. some other state or some other city where, where they deem to be opportunities. Bengal today is no longer the Bengal of 15 or 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Opportunities are ample. And if people continue to remain here and to contribute, future is very bright. Wonderful. It's great to hear such good things about the state from uh, leading industrialists like you. Uh, is uh, finding skilled labor in the state, uh, are you finding it difficult? Not at all, because Bengal is a very uh, diverse hub of, of very different ethnicities, very different backgrounds, very different cultures. Mm. So finding good skilled manpower in the state is as much a problem as any other state or any other region. Mm. 
but it's a problem that is very easily resolved so people are easily flying from other states absolutely wonderful ami apnara jara jara chakri korte chan those who want to get employed to titagar group i am uh, highlighting the uh, website or email id here you can send your cvs uh, to them and uh, hopefully you will get job in titagar group you will work with them so thank you so much sir thank you and uh, thank you for giving us the time and opportunity to see and go around uh, the great plant you have and hope this plant doubles and you are doubling the capacity <laughs> as soon absolutely we'll invite you back once our all our capex plans are over uh, thank you we'll see the final out thank you so much sir to ajker video ta etuki rakhi kemon laglo obosshoi comment kore janate bhulben na comment box e jodi video ti bhalo lage thake obosshoi like share and subscribe kore jaben channel tike dekha hocche apnader shonge porer ei rokom ekta durdanto video te toto kon ki bhalo thakun shusto thakun ebong dite thakun apnar priyo channel west bengal with tata dekha hocche